What is this project? This project is, I'm going to be working with peanut butter. Can you see the glow? This is peanut butter, which contains uh, phenolic compounds, which I'll be doing is trying to extract with rubbing alcohol with a few, milli a few milliliters of toluene from ProLab and cyclohexane alcohol. And I'll be stirring it and making it into a pigment that, that when you filter, uh, filter it and refrain it and uh, extract it and concentrate it, it will glow deep green under, U uh, under UV light and it can be used for all types of projects, including laser, laser art. Let's get back to this project. The UV light is to show what happens when, when, I, when I'm dealing with it. First, let's get 400 millimeter, 320 millimeters of alcohol with a few millimeters of toluene. The toluene will basically deflatten, take out the oil so we can actually work with it properly. This is really hard to stir and we have to do it manually. I can also see a green pigment being produced as the alcohol and the toluene dissolves. It's a slow process. This is 800 grams of peanut butter. really smell the alcohol. Do you see it now? Maybe what I can do is turn off all the lights so we can see this better. I'll be back when the lights are off. It's hard to see when the lights are off. See it now? I'm not heating it up because it's very hard to process. If you heat up too much, it could cake the peanut butter right onto the flask. It'd be hard to clean it. So I'm just doing it at cool temperatures and doing this over a long period of time to make the dye. And then I'm going to add more alcohol, more alcohol right here, with a few millimeters of cyclo. Hexane, which I bought from ProLab. This is using Skippy peanut butter to extract with oils, uh, oils and nonpolar solvents. You need a lot of alcohol for this to work. I might put a stirring rod in eventually when it keeps when it dissolves, but I'm afraid if I do it prematurely, it will just it, it would just won't work probably. So I'm doing a manly stirring. Let it stop for a bit. Can you see, see this? It is working, but I need to, I need to concentrate and filter it. I eventually have to boil it which would be tricky. Again, it's 800 grams of Skippy peanut butter, which varies in the, in the phenomic compounds. As you can see, it's still, it's still in there. I just gotta keep on stirring this off and on for, for days and days and days on a cool temperature. This is to make it cheap but quite effective green fluorescent pigment. And I might have to boil it and concentrate it afterwards as a part two when I filter it.
See? Suspension of peanut butter. I still need to stir it a lot. I never thought of it, but you can do abstracts. And one of my friends from from uh, uh, from Egypt who does scents and that kind of stuff said you, you can use for for this use essential oils. You, you get the oils out with toluene or DCM or cyclohexene, preferably over alcohols and ethyl acetate if you want to get the oil out. So I'm going to have to increase the, these compounds and hopefully they don't dissolve or destroy the filter paper when I try to when I, when I try to filter it. This might be a real, a real pain to filter. It could become a very thick agent. Thanks for watching. Interesting idea.